LinkedIn. It is that time of day. It is time for Nadine Unscripted. And uh, today I am shooting this from a parking lot in Ottawa from somewhere I was just leaving. I actually got to leave early and I thought, you know what, I should do this video before I go home so that when I go home, I can give my 110% to my kids. Um, so I wanted to answer this question for you today. Somebody asked me, how do you know when it's time to cut someone off in your life? And by cutting off, I mean, like it's just like a toxic situation or you just want less contact or they're just not a good good for you good fit for your you know for your life for what how you feel and my answer is is really simple but it's it doesn't always feel that simple when you're in the situation how how do people in your life make you feel how they make you feel is how you should define whether or not they are bringing value into your life. Are they dragging you down or are they lifting you up? And obviously I'm not saying like, okay, like, <laughs> like ditch your brothers and sisters and your husband and your wife if they're like <laughs> they're having a bad day and they're bringing you down one day. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying when you have people in your life that over half of your interactions with them makes you feel anxiety, uh, unsettled, uh, questioning yourself, um, insecure, uh, what else? Upset, um, fearful, even I would say just depressed and heavy and you know, the kind of people that when you when you leave after hanging out with them or talking with them or texting with them you have this heaviness inside of you this is gonna happen these feelings are gonna come up in any relationship that we have but if there's someone in your life where these feelings come up more than 50% of the time that is very concerning it makes such a difference who you surround yourself with and you know, cutting off doesn't have to be this big drastic thing. Um, I've had to block some people in my life and um, those are, I mean, it doesn't happen often, but sometimes that's what is needed. Um, and, and it's a tough one, honestly. It is, it's a tough one because I'm, I'm the kind of person who like, I, re I remain really loyal to people however it's not just about what people can give you like I know some people say like if they're not bringing you anything let them go it's not always about what they're bringing you like I can be friends and close to people who are not necessarily bringing me anything <laughs> you know although if you're in a relationship with someone there should be some kind of joy that it brings you like in spending time with them but what's important is that they're not taking from you. Are they taking from you? Are you feeling drained after? Are you feeling exhausted after? Are you, do you have a headache after? Do you have an upset stomach? Do you, do you stay awake all night worrying? Um, do, you, do people ask you what's wrong all the time after you've talked to them? Do you feel like they don't value you as much as you value them? Do you feel like it's a one-sided relationship Anything like that, um, the, the, trick, the trick to knowing which people to keep in your life is self-awareness. Don't ignore your feelings. Don't brush aside your discomfort. <sighs> Acknowledge that discomfort. Acknowledge that you're not comfortable. Acknowledge that you don't like something or that you're not feeling good and notice, okay, what happens every time I interact with this person? How do I feel afterwards? And compare it with the people who make you feel amazing versus the people who make you feel horrible. Now, don't get confused with, um, let's say, people who are just stroking your ego. It's not about stroking your ego. I've, I've had people who stroke my ego and I still have that really terrible feeling inside of me. Or, or people who like, 
all they do is just just say good things and they don't have the guts to be honest with you about when you do or say something that hurts them I don't mean like a fake sort of like worshiping of you that's that's not the standard the standard is that like in general when you spend time with them you come away feeling truer to yourself uh, you feel you should feel lifted up encouraged backed up supported you should feel those things if you feel the opposite if you feel like you're sort of not being yourself or you feel kind of like what did I just say or what did I just do and that's not me if you feel any kind of pressure just be aware listen to your body your head your thoughts your belly and if you start noticing that this pattern keeps repeating over and over and over again with the same person now I'm not saying automatically like without even telling them or communicating with them just suddenly like cut them off and block them that's not what I'm saying I'm I'm a believer in always giving people the chance and the opportunity to learn so if they're making you feel a certain way it's really unfair that you just cut them off without ever communicating t to them what they're doing and how they're making you feel but let's say that you have communicated it many times and it just continues it doesn't have to be that you hate them it could just be that you just sort of slowly fade away from the interactions that you have with them and just let it kind of just start spending time with other people and LinkedIn has been a great place for me to spend time with other people even though they're not all like people that I can touch and they're tangible the conversations um, the exchange of, of um, dialogue, ideas, feelings, all of those things. I can have a fantastic feeling with one person online and then a horrible feeling with another person online. So that also goes to say that it's not just people in your like waking life. So here's the question. What if you can't get rid of that person like what if they're let's say in your family or they're a colleague or something so now the question to you is how can you be happy how can you detach yourself from caring about what they say or do how can you how can you be happy if that situation never never changes what can you do I hope that this helped you if you guys have any other questions please don't be shy um, reach out to me today I didn't I didn't provide <laughs> a life example I should I really I'm, I'm getting used to it because I do I have a million examples of this um, but you can if you want to know some more examples or you want more videos with more examples real life examples you can send me a message you can ask me questions if you're not sure about a certain relationship whether it's bringing you down or what you should do about it guys you can reach out to me I can I'll listen to you and I'll help you um, I'm there so it's not an easy thing to work through because you know we get attached so I hope this helped you guys and I hope that all of you continue to surround yourself with the most amazing people and the most amazing family and uh, I'm I'm definitely surrounding myself with amazing people and I'm super glad it's changed my life.